A visual history of the life and people of the Great Plains is on display at the Museum of the Great Plains in Lawton. We um, explore the history of man on the Great Plains, of humans on the Great Plains. So we start about 11,000 years ago with the first evidence of people on the plains and then we go right through the present. We have a strong focus on Lawton and Southwest Oklahoma and the Southern Plains in particular. All of our exhibits through the museum have interactive components. So we mean for people to, to have fun while they're here and learn, you know, about the history. The interactive exhibits begin as soon as you step inside. When you come into the first gallery, we have the floor map. So we try to define for people what the Great Plains is, get that image in their mind. One of the next things you come across is going to be our Terrible Tuesday um, Tornado Theater, which is um, kind of an immersive uh, account of the Wichita Falls tornado in 1979. From life on the cattle trail to Native American artifacts and exhibits, you can immerse yourself into the culture of this special area in our state. Indigenous people are a big part of our story here. We discuss about where the uh, tribes or the groups um, that ended up here, where they came from, uh, what life was like before European contact, uh, what it was like after European contact, and then with uh, settlement, allotment, and all those issues. Right, again, you know, right up to the modern day. We actually have a tent that kind of uh, was like what the tent city that was established here before Lawton had permanent buildings. We have uh, an area about cowboys where you can pretend you're sleeping out on the range, um, play guitar, pretend you're cooking an evening meal. You can even experience what it would be like on a real dig site as you search for fossils. We have a dig site, and that date that um, portrays the oldest um, human occupation in this area that we know of. So you can actually dig for uh, mastodon bones that are set into that exhibit. And take a step back in time in the old-fashioned general store. The, the idea is to use the merchandise in the store to um, fill people's orders, or you can take shopping lists if you're going to you know, build a stool or bake a cake or whatever, take those shopping lists and find the things in the store that um, you would need. Upstairs is a great place for interactive fun for kids of all ages. We call that Upper Floor Explorer. It's our mezzanine area of the museum. The things that we have on the mezzanine area of the museum are really geared toward um, STEAM or science, technology, engineering, um, art, and math. If you visited before, you'll want to plan a return trip because there are a few new things to see. Uh, of course, we have the TP that we're beside right now, which um, is another interactive exhibit. We chose a canvas TP and it's kind of a generic plains TP, although it is a four pole like the Comanche would have set up their TPs. You can go inside it and pretend that you're, you know, it's night and sleep in there or bring food in there or come out to the campfire or do whatever you want. So it's just another kind of fun space where while you're interacting with it, hopefully you're going to learn things. In the theater, we um, change periodically what's being shown in there. It's a space that people can wander into um, it runs all the time. If they like what they see, they're welcome to sit down for as long as they want. They can be in there for a minute. They can be in there all afternoon if they want. Plan your trip to the Museum of the Great Plains, a hands-on experience of what life was like on the Great Plains way back when and even today.